This lecture looks at RL circuits. These are circuits that have resistors and inductors in them. An inductor it stores electrical energy in the magnetic field when the current flowing through it changes with time. An inductor is a coil of wire that creates a magnetic field when a current flows through it. When the current changes with time, the changing magnetic field creates a potential difference across the, across the inductor. An inductor has inductance, symbolized by the letter L. Inductance is a measure of how the magnetic field and the current are linked. It depends on the number of loops of the coil, the physical size of the coil, and the material the coils are wrapped around. The unit of inductance is a Henry. The potential difference across an inductor is given by delta V sub L is equal to minus L, the inductance, times the time derivative of the current. Let's look at an example. Here we have a resistor and an inductor L linked together in series. And we're going to go from a situation where there's no current flowing through this circuit to one where the maximum current of, is equal to some voltage divided by resistance. And the voltage is provided by this battery. We're going to use Kirchhoff's second, second law to figure out what happens to the current as we go around this, as, as we put the, attach this battery to this resistor and inductor. Well, we have from the, the voltage source minus the drop across the resistor, V minus IR, and then we add, add in the drop across the inductor, which is minus L times the time derivative of the current, and this is equal to zero. Well, this is again a, a differential equation, and the solution to this differential equation is straightforward, and it is given by this, so that I of T is equal to V divided by R, times the quantity of 1 minus a decaying exponential. So that at time equal to 0, I of t is equal to 0. When time gets very long, the current goes to a value of V divided by R, the maximum value. So we're going from 0 to V over R. If we look at this in, on an equation, we, have, we start at 0 for the current, and it goes up to some constant value V over R. The time constant for the circuit is given by L divided by R, and L divided by R is again in seconds. So the, the amount of time, it, the characteristic time for this rise is the inductance divided by the resistance of the circuit. Let's look at an example of using this, where we're talking about pulse magnetic fields for an MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging uh, device. In an MRI, a pulse to magnetic field is used. The magnetic field is created by sending a current pulse into a magnet. Typically, the power supply producing the current pulse has a resistance of about 50 ohms, and the magnet has an inductance of about 1 Henry. If the power supply quickly switches from 0 to 5 volts, how long does it take the current to reach 90% of the peak value? Well, let's model this with a circuit similar to the one on the, on the preceding slide. We're, we're going to have a 0 to 5 volt pulse going into a resistor and an inductor in series. Since the circuit is the same as on the previous slide, we have the same solution. And we can then go ahead and see that if we wait a long time, the peak value will, will, will occur when, uh, when, when you have that 5 volts maintained for a long time. And I peak is just going to be V divided by R which is equal to 5 volts divided by 50 ohms, which is equal to 0 0.1 amps. So that's the peak current that can be flowing through the circuit. If we look at the, uh, when the time when the current reaches 90% of the peak value, that'll occur a little bit before this, uh, before, uh, before it gets to the, the tenth of a volt, this is the peak, the current is equal to 0 0.09 amps, that's the 90% value. That's equal to 0 0.1 amps times the, this quantity of 1 minus this decaying exponential. Again, the, the time constant is L divided by R. In this case, it's 1 divided by 50, or 1 50th of a second. 
If we uh, rearrange this a little bit and plug in those values, we have that we have 0 0.9 minus 1, all negated, um, all negated, leaving on the on the left side, and on the right side we have just the exponential. So then we can take a natural log of both sides, getting rid of the exponential, leaving us with the natural log of the left side is minus 2.3. On the right side, we have the time for 90% divided by 0 0.02, and that's negative. So that if we solve for, this, for the time for 90%, that's equal to 0 0.046 seconds, or about 5 hundredths, 5 hundredths of a second. What does this mean for if we send in a pulse? Let's look at a pulse for a second. That's uh, about 2 tenths of a second long. If we apply this pulse to the circuit, or this 0 to 5 volt pulse to the circuit, then the current that comes through will look something like this. Instead of being a perfectly square, have perfectly square edges, it will have this slower rise and the slower fall. So the, the pulse will be distorted a bit by having to be, be being pushed into this inductor. That may make a difference to how well the magnetic resonance imaging system works, or it may not, but it's important to know.